One of the first challenges of building in this space was the acoustics of the office. The building in our particular space has a concrete lid and it was also open to the space below as sort of a mezzanine. So we built a glass wall to shield ourselves from our neighbors down below and we installed a product called Echo Eliminator from Stop Acoustical Panels as the sound deadening in our space, which actually made a tremendous difference in the sound absorption. We bolted it to the ceiling, which met the requirements of the Living Building Challenge, and it also made it sort of an architectural element, something that was intentional in the space and meant to be seen. In order to tie the space together, we brought it down the front entry so that you see it when you come in and the acoustical panel meets the requirements of the Living Building Challenge because it's made out of recycled cotton. Being a carpentry-based company, we wanted to bring wood into the environment, and we chose to use reclaimed bleacher stock. It's made out of sugar pine, and that's what we used for our casework throughout the entire space. It also ties into our ceiling because we were able to use some of the bleacher stock as a drop ceiling that you'll see in our entryway and in the conference room. So we had a steel grid fabricated by a manufacturer in Portland, and then some of the wood was stripped down and just lays, again, as sort of an intentional drop ceiling to make the space a little bit cozier, um, warm it up with some wood, and again, help with the acoustics. The bleacher stock we also used as the casework around all of the glass, which we put into the space and it is the tops of our counters for our built-in shelving. For our countertop, we chose a product called Trinity Glass, which is made by Squawk Mountain Stone. They're a local company based out of Issaquah, and their material is 40% recycled content. So we chose to use the Trinity Glass, which is the same product that the building has used in other spaces. Everything that we brought into the space absolutely had to be vetted from the carpet to the adhesive that the carpet goes down with, um, the metal strip that creates the transition. Um, there's nothing that we brought into here that was not carefully examined to make sure that it meets the living building challenge requirements.